Hello everyone and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week is Outlaws of Thunder Junction week and everyone's building around a spicy new legend. Let's see what everyone's bringing to battle. Howdy, it's Phil and today we're going to take a ravenous ride on the Gitrock monster. Yeehaw! Hey everyone, it's Richard and I'm playing Obeka Splitter of Seconds. It's a commander that gives you extra upkeeps. So I'm playing the Court Cycle, which gives me monarchy and uh, gives me abilities during my upkeep. At the junction, Misery is the only thing on the menu, so yours truly is playing Rakdos the Muscle. I'm going to be sacking, exiling. I've essentially built Rakdos Mill <laughs> and Theft, so you know, things I love. I'm Seth and I'm playing Cactus Jack, probably better known as Bristly Bill, looking to make some land drops and put some counters on things. Yeehaw! This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at ultimateguard.com and you can purchase all your cards over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at mtggoldfishmerch.com and liking and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Three, two, one. Clash on! Yeehaw. Do we do it? I think that was in sync. That no. was yeah. That was close. You guys were pretty good. You guys are pretty good. I'm always early, but you guys did pretty good that time. It's it's the better hats. than usual. The, the hats linked our minds. The hats, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like I'd like to shout out the wonderful mod Lava Spike for sending me this one piece hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 All right. So this is very funny. Uh, so I'm going first, right? Yep. <laughs> this sucks. Okay. I'll play luxury. Oh, I didn't draw a card. All right. I'll play luxury suite. What's I gotta do about hilarious? First? It's very fun. Ragavan. Oh, monkey. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Whatever. That's go ahead. Not that's not that's not why this is funny, but but oh. that, that's it. Hold on, my, my mana base is so terrible that this kind of matters. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Richard problems. <laughs> Howdy. Got to fit All right. All right. Let's let's into start. A deck. It's called the dark <laughs> fast. Java. I'm gonna play Mossword Bridge. Hideaway four. So and I'm going to exile one cut. The rest goes to the bottom and pass. What's the condition for your bridge? Right. How much power uh, do you I have total 10 power or greater. Okay. I got a feeling that Krim's yeah. laughing because he... Because he's going to go Ragavan opposition agent. I'm going to win some teeth and crack it right now to get a forest. And uh, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I not feel why like I'm there's laughing. a turn two opposition agent coming. <laughs> that's not why. <laughs> even even much, worse? It's much worse. Oh, God. I'm going to swing Ragavan at Richard. I'm just going to fetch. I know you don't play swords. So. Get the surveil land to put something bad on top, Richard. Surveil, that, surveil that'll something show me. bad I mean, for the Ragavan. something in my graveyard, which could be relevant, but I think I need, uh, what is it called? Xander's Lounge. We got it. All right. Uh, no no I effects. Hit. Seth, would you like okay. to berserk it? Uh, yeah. we're, we're good. <laughs> Hatred. Hatred. And I'll pay 39 life. No, oh, sorry. 38. <laughs> so, monkey trigger. Mutavolt. Nice. Okay. That seems like a combo piece. So, here's why I'm laughing so y'all can calm down. It is truly worse. I have gemstone caverns. Uh, oh, you uh, went uh, first. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. okay cool. that is. Yeah, I do get a treasure, but like, like I'm about to use it. So. I'll go ahead and play Morbid Opportunist in everyone's favorite premiere set, double feature, sold out. Clearly, that is represented by how that. it's not available anywhere. Uh, go ahead and pass. <laughs> uh, the the Crim Tasting Cards. <laughs> I love that you actually oh. hyped, you gassed yourself up in thinking that I, my play I, would I cracked be worse. My, I, I, I have a commander that actually cares about landfall. Like My fetches are very Shock. valuable, and I was so scared that I uh, <laughs> cracked the fetch main phase. We search for his canton. Ironically, there's no searching. Pass. <laughs> no, that is happens like a Windswept teeth. Crack it for. Are you about to wind sweep me off my feet right now? What are forest? you doing? And tap it, and play a mosswood dread knight. Ooh. Ooh. Three, two, Richard, trample Richard, my dice. roll I your tongue back up. <laughs> no, you cannot play that. Next turn. Um, nice. Yeah. That's I got nice. a forest and go. I'm going to play a war room as my land for the turn. And okay. I guess I too will play a blocker. My commander, Bristly Bill's Mind Sower. So uh, landfall, put a plus one, plus one counter on something. Pay five, double the plus one, plus one counters on each creature I control. And you can go. Let me go ahead and take my turn. Uh, let me untap, actually, and then take I'd rather turn. you not. <laughs> well... Bad news. <laughs> Richard, you ain't got a blocker, so yep. 
I'll swing at you for three. Uh, I don't. Uh, another land. No, oh, the shadow land. Oh, that's the the one the from land. Lord of the Rings. I get a treasure. I would like to play Urborg. Thank you. No, I, have I would. Good yeah, yeah, on the house. Forest, nice. <laughs> <laughs> on the house. I would now like to play Talisman, and I'll go ahead and pass the turn. That sounds like opposition agent. It is. As or Kanta, next turn. And look at the top. Okay. Bless the Admirer goes to the graveyard. Draw. You're going to love this crib. You powered Yeehaw. me up. Temple of the False God. <laughs> Ooh. It's black mana because of Orborn, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cracked. Look at that. Absolutely cracked. Absolutely <laughs> cracked. Dark Steel Ingot. Oh. <laughs> Absurd. Dark Steel okay. Ingot. What? Oh, going nope. deep. This tells me something is going to blow up all of our lands. We need I haven't to seen this in a, <laughs> in a minute. I'm going to play a underground stadium and test the battlefield untapped because I have three opponents. This is so sweet. All right. Three mana. Spelunking. When Spelunking enters the battlefield, <laughs> you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. Oh, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from the hand in uh, your wait, wait, battlefield. Wait, 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 Nothing wait. happens because... Bowmasters okay. time. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I'm going to play Bowmasters. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Seth's and then commander's not long for this Seth, world. <laughs> I'm going to ping your commander and then and then fill it with a draw card. Oh, okay. Lovely. Look at that. And then I'll ping so the commander. Good. Draw a card. Uh, kill the card. Yeah, oh, check this out, though. <laughs> the lands you control enter the battlefield untapped, so... Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, Wait, yeah, you, check this out. Tightening? Arid Artray enters the battlefield tapped. That's a fake tapped. card. No. Is that the new... And the when new it enters the battlefield, comments? return a land you control to its owner's hand. If a desert was yeah. returned this way, surveil one. I will return a desert? this forest. No, but this one taps for two, so I'm going to tap it. And then for two mana, I'm going to play Lightning Griefs. Uh, I also I'm gonna draw a card from my morbid opportunist. Okay. Uh, forgot about that. Whoopsies. And I'm gonna attempt to equip these lightning griefs to the dread knight, so the bone monsters don't get it and pass. Well, all right, it's, it's this is not so good. good. Uh, I'll play a forest. I'll play branching evolution, and you can Whoa. go if I get a counter, a plus one plus one counter on something. I get twice as they many. They reprinted instead. that. <coughs> is that oh yes, that? it's in the Fallout deck. <clears throat> yeah, that was like yeah, yeah. Precon, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play Arid Mesa. I'm gonna fetch. I'm gonna go to 39. I'll just get a Montagna. I'm going to swing Morbid Opportunist at Seth and Ragavan and Orc Army at Richard. So four. All right, four. I will take one. Creeping Bloodsucker. I get another treasure. These are tapped. I would like to play Rakdos. Mm -hmm. Flying Trample. Whenever you sack another creature, exile cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library until your next end step. You may play those cards and spend mana of any type. And then I can also sack another creature. Rakdos gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Activate only once each turn. Yeehaw! All right. Don't worry, everybody. Like everybody in every heist, you need the muscle. I'm going to spend both of these treasures now and cast the Bloodsucker. Blood sucker. Okay. Yeah. Are you using an <laughs> Ultimate Guard multi-token to represent the Bloodsucker, perhaps? I am. I am going to be doing that and pass. Right. It's a 1-2. All right. I'm going to uh, do the Savelli thingy. I put a Thundering Falls into the graveyard. Anybody got a Farewell or something? Krim has, like, the modern meta on his table and is yeah. a five flying commander. I'm going to play Sunken Hollow. And then mm -hmm. I am going to just cast, remind me what Fortel does. You Fortel for two mana, and then on a later turn, you can pay the Fortel Yeah, you, you cast cannot it. cast it on your turn. Because good thing we have these cards with no reminder text for me. Yeah, reading the cards it doesn't explain Tells me absolutely anymore. nothing. Skyclave Relic. <laughs> I think our no. lands are going to get blown up. <laughs> yep. I strongly believe it. <laughs> Jackalops would make Jack sense. Let me play all non-basics and then play Ruination. This seems like a good idea. I guess we just pass the turn now. We we have three lands. We're still four away from Eskantai. I'm going to play Tomb Fortress untapped. For five mana tapping and exiling it, I mill four cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. I mean, I, I, I gotta go for it. Yeehaw, here comes the Git Rock. Yeehaw, brother. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, here comes uh, the boots. It has double haste. You got uh, the Git Rock? Does that have? Oh, Git Rock naturally has haste? It yeah, has yeah. natural oh, yeah. haste. Yeah. haste. Tap. Settle the Git Rock. How much toughness do you have, Krim? I have a 6-5 Rakdos, a 1-2 uh, Creepy Lemonhead Sucker, and then an Orcish <laughs> Bowmaster. 
that Bloodsucker is shockingly accurate, given that he didn't even look at the art well. <laughs> oh, I, I play it. I play that it. That is pretty close. <laughs> I guess I swing in at Seth for now, because Richard takes all the heat from Krim. Uh, sure. Whenever the Gate Rock Ravenous Ride deals combat damage to your player, you may sacrifice a creature that settled it this turn. Poor guy. If you do, draw X cards, then put up to X land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped, untapped, where X is the sacrificed creature's power. So, Amazing. sacrifice the Dread Knight. It triggers. Right, so when it dies, you may cast it from your graveyard as an adventure until the end of the next turn. Krim gets some triggers. Yep, I'll card. draw a card from Morbid Opportunist. God, I need to stop drawing lands. Oh, yeah, you got a then... rough over there. You got rough over there. Right <laughs> I know, right? it's, it's all falling apart. <laughs> look, the, look, look, the muscle is it's falling apart here, okay? So, I'll draw three. Three lands. One. I'm going to oh, send God. three damage. Up at Phil. Three. I guess I'm just gonna cast this as an adventure to lose a life and draw another card. Oh, you're welcome, Krim, I guess. So I'll ping you again. And then I'm gonna pass. Untap and draw. I will play Turn Timber, Serpentine Woods, untap, take three. Ooh, yeah, you are. And replay my commander, which I'm sure Phil will kill with the Bowmaster next turn. Oh, that, you no, can get I don't know about that one. Yeah. 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 That, that, that get wrong is coming for it. Oh, actually, I did not oh, do a Creeping Blood okay. Sucker trigger. Uh, so everybody yeah. loses one, and then I gain three. Wow. The power. Okay, uh, combat. Actually, oh. everything at Phil, and then Monkey at Richard. And then I take so, yeah. uh, triggers. Exile. Yeah. Yep. Triggers. Steam. All right. Guns. You get a land. I can't play a land, so I will go ahead and play high market. I think we missed the trigger here. The new lands actually deal one damage to target opponent when they enter the battlefield. I guess they commit a crime. Oh. That goes at Krim. Sorry, uh, that's new card. I guess that's my excuse. True. True. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got him. I'm gonna play. Solemn. I need to do this now because I drew one of my basics already. So this tells me that <laughs> I got to get that basic out there. <laughs> yeah, Actually, you had to rush it out before you run out of the basics. <laughs> yeah. Then I will politely just play Ashnod's Altar. Or not Ashnod's Altar. Altar of the. No, hold on. Not Altar of the Abrood either. Oh, altar of Dementia. <laughs> There it the is. The billing one? I got you. Yeah, the I millin gotcha. one, baby. Does that somehow <laughs> yeah. synergize with Rakdos? It does. Yeah, if you're Whenever you sack something, he. Exiles all those cards. Yeah, I don't. I don't gotta. Yeah. I don't gotta. So, he, so, so he's using, <laughs> but like it, it, the, the billing itself does not directly synergize with Rakdos. That's what I'm saying. No. No. Okay. My turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got that. I guess we keep on top. We play Smoldering Marsh. Temple of the False God is online. We just throw out a blocker. I guess my monkey business is up. Yo, Ragavan sucks. <laughs> we throw out a blocker. A uh, Quake Bringer. <laughs> So it's we a 5-4. It. Opponents can't gain life at the beginning of your upkeep. It deals two damage to each opponent. It triggers only if the quick bringers on the battlefield or in the graveyard, and I control a giant. Krim exiled my Muta Vault. <laughs> so my combo is done for. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Phil. Is this the combo? Is this that was the combo. I'm going to draw. Uh, yeah, I guess I got to do this first. Otherwise, we really all die. Two mana. Play Virtue of Persistent. Target creature gets minus three, minus three. Until end of turn, you don't gain two life because of Quakebringer. I guess I'll, we're targeting. Yeah, I mean, they target the Bowmasters. All right, so the only thing keeping people honest, got it. I'm going to sack it so that'll fizzle and you don't gain the life mm -hmm. or get to keep your adventure. Two, Altar of Dementia. I'll just mill Seth two. And then whenever I sack a creature, I can exile, you know, from the top of people's libraries. You mill me for one, right? Because it's for power. So you mill me for oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm milling you for one, but then I'm going to exile Richard's deck. Decree of Pain and an Island. So you can cast these until the end of your next turn. Play. So I can play the land. And I can spend mana of any color to play these spells. Okay, so I will, I will keep these here for you. And yeah, I get a Morbid Opportunist trigger. Six mana. Uh, I'm going to play... Rishka's expertise. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast a card with converted mana cost, mana value five or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. I'm going to draw six cards. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to uh, fork it. Fork it. Oh, yeah. I like that. Good for you. <laughs> Good thing. Okay, so mine resolves. Okay, if there's no responses, mine resolves first. Mm. So get I draw five. Do I have to abide by timing restrictions? No. You can play whatever you want. Okay. I'm going to play Ancestral Vision. 
draw yeah. even more cards. I didn't draw anything good, okay? <laughs> they okay. need to print more Bowmaster. They All don't. Right. You, you're you good, see, no. you're really good, do. Too. No. Okay. Uh, this I'm is going miserable. to draw six. That's sweet. I hope I survive, though. I'm going to play Vindictive Lish when it dies. Oh, target me to sacrifice. Choose one or more. Each most mode must target a different player. Uh, I'm going to read the modes when I trigger it because I'm going to settle it. Swain at Richard for stopping life gain. I guess actually, what, oh what, no, I'm gonna go swing it at, at Grim's board. I'm gonna what? swing it at Grim. I'm sorry, I did. I thought the army was up for some reason. Okay, swing it at Grim. <laughs> ah, that's fine. All right, I'm... so I'll get a trigger, and it says target opponent sacrifices a creature, targeted opponent discards two cards, or target opponent loses five life. So, because of the timing, I, I draw and do the land stuff before I choose sure. the targets for. Let's put up to four lands on the battlefield. One. So good. That is pretty Why? cool. I mean, I, I choose this one for a reason. Masters in command. Ima imagine he Dude. had a Field of the Dead. <laughs> I don't yeah. play Field of the Dead in this deck. I thought like he would be so making much. a billion zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that that would be a little too much. Golgari Rot Farm. Splunking's doing some work. Splunking. I'm telling you, Krim was onto it. Amu to Vigor Splunking just randomly. Yeah. You don't even need a landfall deck. Krim discards to Richard sacrifices a creature and Seth loses five. And I'm I at 23. Three mana. Mm, another new card. Honest Rootsteed. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature card from a graveyard to the hand. I'm going to return the Vindictive Glitch. And creature spells you control cause one less to cast. It's an uncommon. What a power crap set. I'm going to play one mana, cast a Mosswood Dread Knight. And go into my very Bill, sad. how many lands do you have? Just out of curiosity. Base, nine lands. And one of them is a bounce land. So you have two, uh, two, two of, of them. Two of them are bounce lands. <laughs> 12 cards in hand. I guess I you already have Spelunking. why so Bowmasters are, are needed? Two. Phil would have respected three. the turn more. The turns went by much faster when there was a Bowmaster. <laughs> you didn't respect Wouldn't the game just be over? Four. I'm pretty sure the game You also won over. the game because of the Bowmaster, so probably. Maybe. Yeah, like... I, uh, so go. Uh, I will untap and draw. That's <laughs> Show me the boom pile, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't oh, play I that card. Oh, I another but... card. <laughs> what would you like? 100% chance of dying or 50% huh. chance of I'm going to discard the Vindictive Lich. <laughs> <laughs> I guess in this scenario, I wouldn't even kill the Rakdos because it's indestructible. Wait, I'm going to play Prismatic Vista. I get to put a counter on something because it'll land ETB. Uh, it'll actually be an extra counter because of branching evolution. So I'll put two counters on Bristly Bill. And then I'll crack the Prismatic Vesta and get another forest. I'm at 22. Boom. That'll be a couple more counters on good old Brizzly Bill there. White bordered, yeah. I'm dying anyway. Oh yeah, I got the white border. Oh, the uh, switch. This was not the week to be like, who needs rats? I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're definitely gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna play three mana. Uh, and just play Garrick's Uprising. When it enters battle, if I get a creature, uh, power four greater, you get to draw a card. Creatures you control have trample. And then when a creature, power four greater, ETBs, I get to draw a card. This is six power, so I get to draw a card. You're drawing cards, Seth. I did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> did you draw the boom pile? Getting the commander killed on turn two by the Bowmaster sent me back like three turns because like not having any power on the battlefield turned off like my entire hand. So you're saying there's and a downside guess... to green card draw. We'll just play two. <laughs> I'm just going to play an egg at the Soul Cauldron. That doesn't seem fair. I don't think I can attack, though. Go ahead, Krim. I'm going to stay on defense, so I have a blocker. D does Rakdos okay. fly? He must, right? He does. Yeah. It does, yeah. So everybody loses one. Oh, my <laughs> God. That thing is still here. <laughs> I'm going to gain three. Uh, oh, Clickbringer's dead, Phil. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't think that's... Oh, my God. So I'm going to go ahead and send Ragavan at Richard. God, you really want my cards. Three, four at Richard, and then I'm going to send the Orc Army and Rakdos at you, Phil. Yeah, I'm going to block the army with the Dread Knight. No blocks. Okay. Uh, and then I take six commander. So I take four. And then yeah, you're going to take four. You get a black eight. Oh, my, all my fancy lands. Dude, how am I only hitting <laughs> lands from my deck, you your deck, a lot everyone's of lands. deck? Jesus, everyone's <laughs> getting lands. Morbid opportunities triggers. Yes. You have my island, too. And I fully expect you to draw this in its entirety. It has to be You're a right. I do, I Windows 3.1 island. <laughs> island. Otherwise, I'm calling a judge. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will play said, said island 3.1. Okay. Oh, no. Just take an island from the collection. That is disgusting. <laughs> That's a palm tree, by the way. Okay. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and play 
black market. It's when not connected. He gets a gets charge counter. He gets charge counters. And then, and then this, he gets mana, that yeah. much black mana during his main phase. I'm now going to go ahead and play another new card. A call, the unrepentant. <sighs> Flying, trample, sack three other creatures. You may put a creature card from the battle or from your hand onto the battlefield. Activate only as sorcery speed once each turn. <sighs> All right, go ahead. Boy. I mean, I would only be board wiping myself if I cast that decree. Wait, uh, what, how many cards you got in your graveyard? Are you flipping it yet? Two, four, six. So you got to do something in response. Go ahead, Richard. That's fine. I think I want you to flip it. <laughs> I think okay. I need you to find a wrath or something. <laughs> okay. So as Kanto flips, because I have seven, more importantly, it ramps me. And then I oh, draw no. a card. I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage. I'm getting a Demonic Tutor. Ooh. Does it Please resolve? don't have my get on. Yeah, yeah. I got a good one for you. Okay, what did you get? So that's eight mana. We're going to Meatballs. Yeah. Meatball Massacre X6. Okay. Oh, Krim, so Krim do nothing <laughs> so that his commander dies. Is it worth is... the bill? <laughs> Seth got greedy. Seth got greedy. I'm gonna yeah, it's in response to the cast, right? It's not on the Solemn battlefield. To then oh, that's true. The static. Exile from the Richard's top uh, top of Richard's deck. Glacial oh, chasm. the Glacial Chasm. Okay. <laughs> not the Glacial Chasm. I draw a card from Solemn and from Morbid. I'm going to sack to Altar of Dementia, Raghavan. I'll mill you two, Seth. And then I'll exile mm -hmm. one from Richard. Inscription Slightly of Abundance up. and <clears throat> Cami of Whispered Hopes. So now Black Market will happen. I'm going to sack Creeping Bloodsucker. So I'm going to mill Seth one, exile Richard uh, for two. Ooh, big of progress. I kind of wanted CD that one. I'm going to sack Orc, the Orc army, to mill Seth six. No exile because it has no no mana cost. Land tribute. Ooh, hanger back walker beast within. Scavenging ooze Vesuva. I'm going to sack Morbid Opportunist. I'm gonna, This time I'm going to mill Seth for one, actually. And then Richard, I'm going to exile your top three. Smuggler's Surprise. Price of Progress? Okay. Price of Progress. Um, Wonder, Watery Grave. Oh, Price would have killed me. Sack yeah, that would have probably killed everyone. And that one, I'm going to mill Seth five. And I'm going to exile four from Richard. One, two, three, and four, then... and five. So do you get to cast uh -uh. these? No, right? Because Rakdos is going away. I get to, yeah, he still gets I get to, to cast, cast them whenever now. So then I'm going to sack uh, Rakdos. This time, I'm going to mill Seth for six. And then he'll go to my command zone. So much milling. Ooh, Rishkar's expertise. Nissa, open the way. You guys need to kill the black market connection. He gets to cast all of these spells. Ah, uh, yes, yep. we do. And my beast within got milled. All right, so now that Krim has done all that, I'm going to activate the Agatha Soul Cauldron. I'm just going to exile your Savala. Yep. I'll get... Two counters on Bristly Bill. And my stuff with counters can work like Sabala now. now the so meat meat meatballs can. resolves? Yep. So I gain two. All right. And I get two triggers of Black Market. Oh, that Black Market. That is my turn. It is Phil's turn. All right. Uh, regardless of probably dying next turn, I'm going to probably spend the most fun 10 mana you can spend in Magic. Oh, yeah, God. It's probably cascading, uh, probably cascading, debate, cascading, yeah. cascading. Well, cascading. Uh, oh, well, yeah, well, you guessed it. It's an Apex Devastator. 10 mana, 10-10, ten, ten. Cascade, 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 and Cascade. It's Spin it to win it. <laughs> That's a good start. Oh, 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 nine mana. <laughs> Pretty good deal here. The next one is... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, both are resolved. Yeah, I guess Seth actually yeah. does sacrifice a creature. Too bad, because then nobody sacrifices a creature for this shielded. I can kill Krim next turn if I have my commander. If I don't have my commander, <sighs> I can't. So Wait, you, you need to if kill If you got to do the Phil, thing, do you're the gonna, thing. You're just not, okay, hold on. You, you need to, hold on. Krim will kill everyone, guaranteed. What do you, yeah, Krim, uh, but yeah, I I, so but I have I to do this? You won't die. There's oh, a glacial cast so then, sitting here. You get to choose really? if you want to cast it. You can choose not to cast it. So I guess I don't play the shield as well. But that also fizzles well. your shield right too. Oh, bro. No. This is so oh, so bad. unfun way to spend 10 mana. Let's see oh. what this is. The Skullspore Nexus. When oh, one or more token that's... creatures you control die, create a green fungus dinosaur token with base power and toughness, each equal to the total number of those creatures. And I can double target creatures' power. That I can play. God damn it. Yep, and a tribute to the world tree. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll help make it up you to guys. you, Phil. Tribute to the world tree. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card if its power is 10 or greater. Otherwise, put two counters on it. Uh, 10 or greater. <laughs> 3 or greater. Turns out even 10. Are you sure 10 <laughs> is greater than 3? Let's check. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Okay, two mana. <laughs> oh, you know no, what? I, oh, I, I died, and just remember this. 
I just counterspelled Phil's favorite cards because <laughs> <laughs> just by yes! ripping. I'm going yes! to equip the lightning greaves. And... Hit me for ten, baby. You don't need to hit Krim, but you can if you want. I'm going to kill him either way. I, I don't care if he's I at 38 to, uh, or 100. Wait, do I swing at Seth for this? <laughs> you, I, mean, yeah, I mean, if you, you want to, you can. I guess I am going to kill Krim no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this went fair. I did make you not cast Portal to Frexion <sighs> if you really wanted to cast, so. <laughs> Jeez, and then I'm going it to pass on this duet I'm very happy with that. All right, so we're going to untap our stuff, draw for our turn. Forest is my land for the turn, which will get me two more counters on good old bristly Bill here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pay two to play a great hench. And then I'm going to pay one, two. I gain two life back up to 13. I am going to kill Krim, but I might just die in the backswing to Phil, probably. Hey, you're doing the Lord's work, though. He can't. He's yeah, got it's, boots, it's necessary. <laughs> All right, I'm going to activate Agatha Soul Cauldron. Is the Quakebringer still in the graveyard? Yes, but I don't have a giant, nor do I have a Muta Vault. I think I mean, I'm just going to exile it just to be safe. Wait, there is yeah, a I'm exile Prime something. Elder if you want the effect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that right. <laughs> I'm going to play Nature's Lore to get a, find a forest. If Krim has darkness, I'm not even mad. If he has darkness, I can't do anything about that. All right, so we're up to 12, and then I'm just going to go to sure. an attack. Krim, pay five to double the number of counters. Do you have anything in your pile of exile cards, Richard? Well, does no. Richard have a oh, so, Richard there's there's the there. Wait, did you kill him through normal damage too? Not quite. 12, 24, 30. Oh, actually, I did. I did 38 exactly, I think. <laughs> 12, 24, 36. Wow. 38, yeah. 38. <laughs> double exacties. Okay, I guess you won this. Go, uh, not go ahead. I mean, Rakdos did pop off my, my deck better than me. I mean, I did live up to the muscle. I did all the work. Finally, I'm the threat again. Now you can play Rakdos Mill. This is awesome. <laughs> True. That is kind of... And you get to play cards like Passionate Archaeology or Archaeologist that you just start burning the hell out of people. So next turn, it would have been doubly bad if I had lived because I was going to play Keeper of Secrets. And oh, just... my God. Does Richard get his island? Oh, back? I'm just... Yeah. I, d I don't believe so. It wasn't it stays from the in battlefield. Exile? I'm going to play a maze of this. Yeah, you disgusting. Know? I just realized something, y'all. If this is a Western and someone someone dies, don't I have to like have a dramatic exit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm riding yep. off into the sunset, <laughs> partner. I did my job. I made the pain be felt. And now I'm going off to the saloon in the sky. Uh. All right. <laughs> Twilight Prophet and Exalted. Uh. Oh, wait, don't want to do that. Maybe just play my command. And what? Maybe I play my commander. Maybe it's time to play the commander. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe we attempt to try to accomplish something. And uh, I am done. And we're going to hide going here to and hope we don't die. <laughs> I'm going to activate Mosswood Bridge because turns out the one creature that I control has a uh, total power of 10 or greater. And it is... A what is that? Uh, Auron Frostfang. Attacking creatures you control have death touch, and whenever a creature you, co you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's it not trample. We're still we're still not dead. <laughs> I mean, my Gitrock trample. has trample by itself. Oh wait, you can draw ten cards and put yes. Ten yes, yes. Hmm. Um, seven mana. Gitrock. Yeah, draw sure. A card. Oh, first of all, boots. Uh, two mana. I'll double the power of the Apex Devastator to 20. Apex Devastator rides Gitrog. Let's go. <laughs> Not any. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, Apex. pretty brutal. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did we sad already? Can you just kill Seth with the Apex? He's at 13. Yeah. You could yeah. Kill oh, he can moments. kill me. I could also kill draw me. 20 wait, cards and put 20. I mean, I. Yeah. 20, I don't know if that involves the like, same. How did you draw 20 cards? Rides the Gitrog. <laughs> I already got scammed out of a lot of value here, so yeah, you got, I'm just got gonna that do value. It. Set up the Git Rock, uh, Seth. Who are you gonna attack? Uh, Richard. Seth, before I'm you answer, swing it at Richard. Wait, wait, Too late. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta you can kill me right God. now. You can it's kill happening. me in a what, half a what, turn what, cycle. But... If I do something, will you attack Phil? I will. Yeah, I'll try. I'll attack him. Yeah. Can, can you look out your oh, window, yeah. Phil? Can you look out your window? Can you look <laughs> out your window? look out your window, <laughs> Phil? Why? Why? Can you see anything? <laughs> it's a little <laughs> dark out there, isn't it? It's the dark. It's dark out there. Oh, oh, there. Darkness. It's a little it's dark out there. Where are you going? You're just fumbling around the wall. There's so much value this game. You went. <laughs> God damn. I have four But does this there. just mean Richard's gonna win? He did it again. <laughs> At least I can do this. 
Full I don't mana. know if you can beat Richard's maze, if I'm being honest. Okay, no, I mean, Seth just needs one piece of protection, and he beats the maze, right? Disciple of oh. Bolas. When it enters the battlefield, I... sacrifice another creature. Gain X life <laughs> yeah. and draw X cards. Okay, wait X a minute. That creature's power. Phil's going to draw his 20, his 20 I'm anyway. I'm draw my 20 regardless. So <laughs> oh, and happens. you get a 20-20? So wait, this how one, does he get a 2020? Oh, Skull Sport. Because it's still a 2020, so I'm uh -oh. gonna. I honestly don't know if I can it. kill Phil. <laughs> but no. he's got away with it again. He has a lot of bloggers. I he might have got away with it. This. All. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and draw 20 cards then. Oh no. Um, I'm going to play a. Yavi Maya. And he's still a... doing things. I'm scared. That's fog, man. If he plays actual fog. Ah, man, what a rush. Now I can die in peace. Oh, there's a meat hook massacre here, <laughs> so I gain a life. That'll help against uh, 96 commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Buseju, your thing that gets gives trample? Wait, what's yeah, giving him trample? Uh, yeah, not currently. Yeah, Garrox uprising. uprising. Turns out if you draw 20 cards, it does something. Well, that is going to make things tricky. Two and counters. I'm going I believe you guys do get two counters. Disturbing amount of cards. Once you're done, Phil, let me know what creatures you have he in has the a graveyard. If any of them are relevant. So I'll discard Outcast Trailblazer, no activated ability. Farseek, Overgun Tune, Swamp. Junji, no activated ability. Haunted Horror, no ability. Strip Mine, a Demogorth Bow Eater. Perexian Soul Gorger. Boots, Silent Arbiter. Uh, Takeduma. Discard some more helpful cards, Phil. Phil going to 31 weakness. is very bad. <laughs> he what was so else? close to dead. <laughs> Ram through, Druid of Purification, Elemental Bond, and Journey to Eternity, which would have been the deck to finally cast it, but I didn't do it. Ooh. So you have nothing with activated okay. abilities at the moment. Uh, like, yeah, there is some. Okay. Something. So Kuro Trap Elder and Tangled Floor even. I get two counters from the land entering the battlefield, but... Wait, uh, this one entered the battlefield, so I draw a card, but that just means I have to discard my more cards. <laughs> <laughs> Something with an activated ability, Phil, it's okay. You can I mean, you can he can choose it. not to discard. <laughs> he has other cards to discard. I mean, everything I can, can get lethal anyway, so here's a Berserk. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> we actually had, had the Berserk. berserk. <laughs> Oops. Let's see if we can draw something. Ooh. We're going to untap. You know what I would like to do? I would like to draw 20 cards. That would be sweet. Is there any way you could kill him, Richard? How many cards do you so have? I have a Twilight Prophet. <laughs> I mean, anything that kills him will probably kill you too. When I untap, we have Rogue's Passage that I can use on your thing. So we just need to survive another turn. Here's what I'm going to do. This is probably a really bad idea, but I'm going to... Okay, Richard. I can't kill him either. Oh, you, can't, you, you said you're not going to kill him. I'm going to sign a contract. <laughs> yeah. mm. I'm going to tap my commander for uh, 30 <laughs> Seven mana. I'm going to cast New Horizons. Each player can search their library for up to X basic lands. Put them into play tapped and then shuffles. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Let me look at that. This is <laughs> yeah. Let's, see. let's see how many basics. Only basic. X equals sixteen. So you get sixteen basics. They, they from enter your, tapped. Uh, your deck. Tapped. They do enter tapped. So I have twenty three mana floating, which I can use dice for. I don't know if it's going to matter, but I found four basics. Correct. Twelve are so proud of me. In Grixis, three colors, you have four? Wild. You exiled one, too. I'm very mad about that. You took it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it. My last one. So I'll get 13 lands. That'll also trigger Bristly Bill 13 times. Oh, God. I think that's correct. I don't know if any of this actually is going to matter in the grand scheme of things. You should I'm just short use the two counts. dice okay. to represent the digits. <laughs> that actually might make more sense. One mana. The Ozolith. And then I'm oh. going to use the rest of my mana that's floating here. 20. Uh oh. Uh, so 22. So I'm going to, no, I'm going to cast a Fractal Harness. Oh, God. Uh, is three and X. When it enters the battlefield, you make a fractal token, and then you put X counters on it, where X is what you paid, and then it's equipment. When the equipped creature attacks, you get to double the power. So this one would be a get 19 counters, I believe, but it's going to be doubled by branching evolution, so I'll actually get 38 counters. My God. Okay, I'm going to do the Richard thing. 30, and then two is 38, and this I'll math up later, and uh, I can't really do anything else because I got one card in hand. Go ahead, Richard. Why did you just sink all your man into the fractal harness? That's suspicious. I do have a war room, so I can draw a card in desperation mode at some point. Upkeep. Twilight Prophet. I do have the city's blessing. Reveal a top card of my library. Put it in your hand. Each opponent loses X life. Orcish Bowmasters. <laughs> Stop well. it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, here no. we are. Yeah. Here we are, Phil. Look here we that. are, Phil. I'm going to draw. 
at 70. I don't know how to represent a zero with with, <laughs> with dice. You have but one yes, creature, this, Seth? I have the fractal untapped and the Billy, the bristly bill that's tapped, yeah. I'm going to play Exalted Flamer of Tishnik. So that is, what at the beginning of that? your upkeep, return an instant or sorcery at random from your graveyard to your hand. I have Darkness, Ancestral Vision, Demonic Tutor, and Fork. I'm going to go to combat. Seth, I'm going to send two at you. So if it connects, I'm going to take two additional upkeeps. It has menace. All right, I'm going to pay three, activate the war room to draw a card. So I gain two, and then I'll take two. I'm going to get two. So upkeeps. you're going to get a, a Becca trigger for two upkeeps. Yes. I'm going to activate Agatha Soul Cauldron. I'm going to exile Scavenging Use from my graveyard. Oh. Actually, Whoa! sweet. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so I'm going to exile the fog in the, de in the fog and demonic tutor. I'm exiling for sure. I'm going to exile the fork too, but you can keep the ancestral. Okay. So first upkeep, exalted flavor. I'm going to get ancestral vision. Uh, Twilight prophet. Low numbers. Low numbers. Cathartic Ooh. reunion. All right. So Everyone that's two. Take two. I gain two. Upkeep number two. Low numbers. Blasphemous act. <laughs> which actually kills nothing here but it kills seth wait no did seth get out of it oh you can't respond okay, okay. yeah i mean i couldn't gain enough anyway yikes <laughs> i was not oh. expecting that good uh good game oh no so i'm stuck here yeah. with richard cathartic reunion discard two cards court of ambition and ancestral well. vision i'm gonna draw three cards so whenever I cast an instant sorcery, I deal one damage to each opponent. I'm going to now play Field of the Dead and make a zombie yes. blocker. A very Richard thing to play. I got to discard a card. I'm going to discard Descent into Avernus. What? Phil? No, you got to play. Through the Bowmasters. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You got to play that, Richard. You tell me you got Roiling Vortex in there too. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That would have been a sweet early play, but uh, no. Draw. Oh, uh, math. At this time of the day, ugh, I'm um, going to play a Nykthos. Okay. One, two. That's some work. Say green. And it taps for nine. Look what I drew, though. Oh. It had to happen all along. You can't avoid it. When it enters Rewarded. the battle, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. Probably in your deck, too, because there's an up there. Uh, 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 I need some yeah, action. Yeah, move. Make some zombies. I am going to sack all these three. We're going to say our commander is more relevant ooh, 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 than, than so. those things. Uh, you take three damage from the hook. Three. I'm going to settle the git rock for four. And then swing in. With these creatures. Let's not mess around. Seven. Cyclonic Rift. You no. guessed it. Thought that uh, was bad, Richard. Brutal. I mean, this is the first, because I'm a combo deck. I just need one more turn, right? With exactly two mana, if you try to get greedy. Ooh, ooh, the tight plays. Grim's loving this love Bowmasters way too much. Yeah. <laughs> I love this deck. I love looking at it. I love Grixis. I love seeing green get pooped on. I love it. <laughs> uh, seven mana. I'm going to play Breach the Multiverse. <laughs> each player oh. mills 10 cards. For each player, choose a creature oh. or planeswalker card that in that That's player's huge. graveyard. Put those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Okay. Yeah. So I'm then each 10. creature you control becomes a Phyrexian. So I have one Wildfire Devils, one Exalted Tetsun something, Twilight Prophet. Those are my creatures. So I'm going to get the Shieldred and the Twilight Prophet. So the Shieldred enters the battlefield and I, I have to yeah. see Yes. It. Yeah. So I'm going to flash in a Bowmasters in response. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ping your face and yeah, I'm going to make an Orc one. Army, which sacks to Shieldred. I don't it's think non -token. so. It's non-token. Oh, okay. Well, Bowmasters. The Meatball trigger happens too, right? So the Meatball, baby. Krim is so happy over there. It's the Edict meta. <laughs> Show me you've got Make an Example. No one except Krim has Make an Example. <laughs> Yo, uh, there are many of us fun. out there, right? <laughs> True believers, I see you from the saloon in the sky, and you go with my blessing. Cool. Yeah, I'm that just going to try and cast some stuff before I discard to hand size again. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm going to play the griefs and put them on the shieldred. 12, so I have to discard five cards. Nice. Uh, Phil I might be close to only out two, actually. One. He's drawn some big bunches of cards. <laughs> and pass. 
Okay, upkeep, nothing, because my stuff is all dead. Uh, half my lands are upside down for some reason. I feel like Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. It's time to us canta. Oh, wow. Oh, and that is that, usually that, that, not a sign of strength yes. if you're doing that main phase. As canta. So look at the top four cards. I can get a non oh, yeah. card. Oh, I miss those times in standard. You could get a Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, watch the light <laughs> burn out in the apartment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jessica's will. I control my commander. I'm going to add oh. a red for each card in your hand, which is seven, I believe. Seven. Yeehaw. And then exile three. Yeehaw, mm -hmm. brother. So I got a Plarg, a Mirren Safe House, and a Dragon Mantle. I'm going to cast Dragon's Mantle for a single red, Phil, targeting Obika. It's fire breathing. I can pay a red. It, it has fire breathing. Okay. So I draw a card. So now I'm going to play Plark using a five mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. An opponent chooses a non-land card exiled this way. You may cast up to two spells from among the cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to Rogue's Passage Obika. Unblockable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing with Obika. I'm going to pay three red. Yeah. So it becomes five. I'm going to get five upkeeps. So now for uh, upkeep number one. So we both exile until we exile a non-land card. And then you choose one and I can cast it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chaos hatred. One. That's you a... hate to see it. Guess you get a hatred. I'm at seven. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now I have four upkeeps. Wait. Left. So does this go under the library? They remain exiled. We All right. Get a mill out. Lord and reveal. That's less color. Yeah, you can have that. Basilisk color? Uh, I mean, are you better basilisk color than Lorian Reveal, I think. Okay, three. Insatiable spree. Can you? Oh. Spree? Oh. You have to pay for it, but you can. Better than Shirret, so um, you go. I, I will not cast it. I knew this was going to happen. These all bricks. Oh, not going <laughs> to cast it? Vampiric Tutor. Oh. Colossal. Oh, Ooh, the Desert one. Worm. The Tutor's not effective because it goes to the top for Plarg. Is that not effective? Right. It's a 50 50 of me having a worse card on top. So you can tutor. So one more. And you can choose what's on your top. <laughs> Richard has wow. to look for a medium, f an like medium answer or a medium card. Plarg in here gets so much worse with two players, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, oh, yeah. right? But it's funny. <laughs> <sighs> wow, what a game. Uh, all of these kind of suck, guys. You technically Char don't have to tell us, but... It doesn't matter. You're going to see it as I... Okay, yeah, and I guess you see my... Please just be in nature's law or something. <laughs> that's a gutter. <laughs> I guess you get the devils. Then you and get then another upkeep, right? That was the last oh, one. Oh, no, no. Oh, I think that was enough. Yeah. Second main. I am going to Reliquary Tower, make a zombie. Must be nice. Oh, <laughs> that feels good. Like 30 forum, Phil. 30 forum. Uh, I'll try my best. First of all, upkeep trigger. Wait, so I reveal the top card, and if it's a land, nothing happens. It is a Agadim's Awakening, so three. three. So I take this into my hand, and I gain three. Then I... You have like a million mana. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Smuggler's Surprise with Spree, for you may put up to two creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Mr. Gitrock. And Mr. Rampaging Balos, whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a 4-4 four, four green beast token onto the battlefield. Wow, yeah, we can do some Pictionary while Phil figures out his turn here. <laughs> Why does it look like someone's about to get shot out what of a cannon? Happening? Yeah, they do it, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's like a bulldog-looking dog. Have they you have ever seen a bulldog? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? They have what wrinkles on their forehead. New secret lair. This is a sneak preview. <laughs> I'm going to tap for five black 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 what's it shoulder time here's a land and then i'll play a for nine mana agadim's awakening oh yeah i get a four four actually Did these go to the battlefield or what does this do yes. yes return from the graveyard to the battlefield any number of target creatures that each have different converted mana cost x or so, less. so before i before uh, this resolves i might respond can you tell me what's in your graveyard what, what are the potential so the targets are mosswood red knight outcaster trailblazer Disciple of Bolas, uh, Junji, the Midnight Sky, and Yagel and Multani. If I dress down, does Disciple Bolas of Trigger not happen? Oh, yes. We are going to dress down in response. Yahoo! Ooh. It's Flash Enchantment. When it enters a battlefield, draw a card. Creatures lose all abilities. At the end step, sacrifice it. Does that resolve, Phil? Yeah, yeah. All right, I draw Ooh. a card. All your creatures have no abilities. Uh, okay, I'm Dressed going down. to... Pass. 
<laughs> I should probably play Dress Down more. That card seems really good. Charm Breaker Devils. So I'm beginning about to return it instant or sorcery. So I'm just going to shuffle this and keep flipping till I get instant or sorcery. Yeah. 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 And then we get a Plarg as well. Plarg is like, so me instant or sorcery. Okay. Oh, Jessica's no. will. Hey, Jessica's Gross. will. So yeah. I return Jessica's will uh, to my hand. Pretty good. Charm Breaker Devils gets plus four. Oh, and I cast. Never mind. I lied. Plarg. So we exile. Natus Law. You can grab a forest if you want to. <laughs> Mark, oh, uh, you can... really missed. God, this Plarg Wait. has been the most terrible Plarg I've ever seen. I'm going to cast Jessica's will. Targeting film. Four man, four cards in hand. Okay, these are all useless. As we're told, rousing refrain. Uh, I don't think we're going to use any of these. So devil triggers. So four. So I'm going to play a mystic sanctuary. I do have three mm -hmm. islands. I checked. I'm going to put a fierce <laughs> guardianship on top. Yeah. I'm going to cast inspiring refrain, which is draw two cards and then exile it with three time counters on it. Yeah. In response, I will heroic intervention. So your team is indestructible currently. That's a six mana draw to? Why are you playing that card? Because it suspends and does this thing again. <laughs> so Charm Breaker, Devil, Trigger. They don't have Charm I'm, I'm just going to count the number of triggers. Now I'm going to Court of Embrus. It's at the beginning of my upkeep. Create a 3-1 yeah, red monarch. token. And then if I'm the monarch, deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of creatures I control. And that's GG, right? <laughs> I made a zombie well, from Field of Dead when I, I am Mystic Sanctuary. F6. Okay, there's four red floating. So so I'm going to pump four into Obika. And then I'm going to pay four mana. I'm the monarch as well. I'm going to pump Obika. Oh, sorry. Give her indestructible. Unblockable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I got the yep. words. And then uh, we attack. You could also just kill me with Yeah, pumps, the Charm Breaker Devils is also I guess I take legal, the flavor. Yeah. So I take five. No, 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 no. So you get six upkeeps. I get six upkeeps. So first upkeep, yep. I'm going to make a knight token. Yeah. Uh, and then you and take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is GG. Wow. Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I lived the dream, though. I think I'm fine <laughs> with this one. I mean, I think we got to see every deck kind of pop Ooh. off this game. Everyone's commander, like, kind of did their thing. Crim Axi a bunch. My I'm commander got out. huge, filled with the cards. <laughs> Richard managed to draw his deck and get some upkeep. So I think all these new outlaws of Thunder Junction commanders Ooh. actually kind of represented themselves pretty well. So anyway, that brings us to the end of our Outlaws of Thunder Junction Commander Clash. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back next week with even more commander fun. So until then, have an amazing week. And this is the crew signing out.